Solder preparation. Here are some things you'll need for soldering. Side cutters or snips. These are used to trim your components. Do they sound right to you? Oh good. Then we have our maker's mat. This is the unsung hero of soldering. It helps protect the surface you're working on. It can be made of thick card or anything that you like to waste. A little bit of tack at each corner will help keep it stuck down. We're using two different types of solder here. Traditional leaded solder, which has flux in the middle, gets to a really high temperature, but lead in high doses can be harmful. So we recommend using a lead-free solder. Oh, not quite that much. You can just wind it back on the reel again though, if you do pull off too much. Then we have our solder sucker. This is really important and will help take off any extra solder from your PCB or components. Keep it close at hand. We also use a little bit of white tack or blue tack. You're meant to be sticking it on the board. Yes, stick your PCB on top, push it down firmly, and it will keep it in place for soldering. 